Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna do something a little different. Instead of sharing about delicious foods like I normally do, I'm gonna talk about the dark side of food, specifically Chinese foods. Now, I won't be able to cover everything in one video, but I've narrowed it down to the top 10 most commonly consumed Chinese foods that are hazardous to your health. Hopefully, after you watch this video, you will be more conscious and aware what you put in your body. First on the list, fake Chinese rice. Now, as an Asian person, you can imagine that rice is a huge part of my diet. I've been eating it every day for the past 30 something years. And you can imagine I was shocked when I first heard that rice could actually be fake and actually made of plastic. Well, I heard this from my own friends that told me that rice was actually being produced in these factories in China that were using plastic as the ingredients. And you can tell that I was completely shocked. So I went online and did some research and there actually were some news articles that were saying that these factories were producing rice made of plastic. And for whatever reason why, I don't know if it's a cheaper cost or whatever it is, you can imagine it's completely very hazardous to your health. So it's probably best if you want to check your rice before you eat it. Um, recently reported also there were fake rice that was actually discovered in Africa. Nobody knows where the rice came from, but it's said to be imported from China though. So the best way to tell if your rice is real or fake is to take the rice itself. So going to take your rice make sure the rice is cooked once it's cooked you want to take the rice and put it in your finger and start rubbing it against your fingers to make sure that it actually would you know if it's rice and it's real grain if you keep rubbing it in your fingers what will happen is it will dissolve slowly in your hand and when it dissolves it becomes a ricey pasty kind of feeling you ever have rice and you accidentally stepped on it with your bare foot and it becomes a pasty type of texture the uh, actual real rice will feel that way but if it's plastic it will not dissolve in your hand it will not become a pasty material because you can tell by any other plastic materials that if you keep rubbing the same plastic wrapper in your hand for example it will still be the same plastic wrapper that you keep rubbing it will not break down so that's the best way to tell if your rice is real or fake Okay, so next on the list, Chinese salt. So for all you guys that cook, you know that salt and pepper is your really basics you're gonna need to season your food. Um, next time you guys cook though, you probably wanna think twice before you use Chinese salt. In the recent discovery, it was found that Chinese manufacturers of salt were actually using industrial salt to package as actual serving table salt or salt for human beings to, to consume and to season their food with. You can imagine how dangerous this is. Such salts may contain hazardous metals like lead, arsenic, mercury, and nitrites. They're, they're industrial salts and they're not meant for the human body to consume. And if consumed, especially in large quantities, it could do severe nerve damage and damage to your kidneys and liver. You can imagine that wouldn't be too good for you on the long term if you were to eat Chinese salt. Number three on the list, soy sauce is made in China. So if you know a little bit about Chinese cooking, you will know that soy sauce plays a huge factor in the seasoning and in the tasting of Chinese dishes. It's almost like the same thing as tomato red sauce for the Italian pasta. So I read an article from the South China Morning Post that they were stating that government officials actually seized these counterfeit soy sauces that were being produced in counterfeit factories. And what these counterfeit factories were using, they were using industrial salt and putting it into these soy sauces and they're branding them as legitimate soy sauces and selling it out to the public. And found inside these industrial salt was a cancer causing industrial saline solution. And if consumed by the human body, it can cause major damage to the organs such as the liver and the kidney. And it can be life threatening if consumed in large quantities. So what you wanna do next time, if you wanna avoid eating soy sauce that might have industrial salt, is to make sure you check the label on the bottom of your soy sauces. And if you see that the soy sauce is made in China, you might wanna think twice before taking that off the shelf. Number four on the list, fake beef made in China. So China has found a way to do it again, and this time they come out with ways to counterfeit beef. So this supposed beef that was being sold in the markets is actually pork. And given the fact that pork is actually a lot more cheaper, they were taking the pork and they're treating it with chemicals like paraffin, wax, and industrial salts to make it look more like beef and taste like beef. Markets actually were selling this counterfeit beef and they were making a good amount of money before government officials found out about it and they shut it down. So I would think twice next time when you're eating some kind of meat or actually beef, just make sure that you know that meat's not coming from China. And if it does, maybe you wanna double check to make sure it's actually the type of animal that you really wanted to eat. Number five on the list 
and in my opinion, perhaps the most appalling one on this entire list, is fake Chinese milk baby formula. Now it's one thing to actually make foods that may harm adults, which is really pretty low, but if you're going to make foods that harm babies, that is just outright evil in my book. So in 2008, CBS News reported that fake Chinese milk baby formula were being produced. They consisted of this chemical called melamine. Melamine, if you don't know what it is, it's a chemical that is widely used in the production of certain plastics. Plastics. That is something I do not want to have in my milk, especially in my baby's milk. What it was is that farmers were actually using melamine to create false higher protein levels. In turn, they were using this for milk companies and dairy companies to try to impress them with the higher milk content or the higher protein content. In turn, these companies will take it and then the farmers will make a profit from it. The milk scandal, which is known as the milk scandal of 2008, it's this first discovery when 16 babies in the Gansu province were diagnosed with kidney stones. And that is really unheard of for people that age or for babies that age or whatever you call it. And then the whole thing actually, the whole scandal result, there was about 300,000 victims. There were about 54,000 babies being hospitalized and then actually six babies died of kidney damage and kidney acute failure. It is reported that 10 years later, after this whole milk scandal that Chinese locals refused to buy milk that are being packaged by local companies because of the milk scandal that happened before and they prefer to buy foreign sold milk. Can you actually blame them? Next on the list, tapioca pearls, better known as the bubble tea pearls. Now coming from someone that drinks bubble tea a lot, this is actually quite shocking. I mean, I never knew what was in it, but I knew that it couldn't be healthy. But when you actually come to break it down and really, really find out what might be in those little chewy, bubbly balls that you have so much fun drinking when you're having your bubble tea, it might start frightening you. Now, I've heard a lot of rumors about someone saying that the bubble tea or the tapioca pearls actually have cartagens and actually ingredients that can cause cancer. That hasn't been proven or there's no really scientific proof about that, but I know a German university actually covered that and people heard it for a while and that made it cause it to maybe decline in popularity but now coming these past few years I've seen bubble tea places all over Flushing where I live and uh, it's crazy it's like a trend now Hong Kong Free Press and also other websites such as the munchies vice.com have reported that there's rumors about this bubble tea these these tapioca pearls actually being made from things that might cause concern. Now, this all started when someone actually had some bubble tea. Um, they weren't feeling well, so they decided to go to the doctor, and when the doctor did an x-ray on their stomach, the CT scan showed some strange white dots in the image of the stomach, and they identified the dots as something abnormal, and it turns out these abnormal dots are actually tapioca balls that were being used for the bubble tea. So, with the CT scan, they, they showed that a lot of these tapioca balls, uh, pearls were really, really hard for the stomach to digest. Now, whether you want to believe that or not, that sounds really disturbing. Now, I already knew that these tapioca balls had a controversy where they might cause cancer, but actually hearing something like that, especially coming from all the history of fake foods made in China, I don't know, next time I have a bubble tea, I might think twice about drinking that. Number seven on the list, Fake Chinese eggs. Now this is another one that shook me up a little bit because personally I'm an egg lover. I eat eggs for breakfast. I eat omelets, scrambled eggs for brunch. And um, sometimes I even use eggs for protein shakes when I was still using protein shakes. And I never really paid much attention to where the eggs were coming from. I wouldn't check the packaging to see which country or which dairy company was actually um, shipping out these eggs. Not until recently I discovered some news that almost made my stomach turn. So Time Magazine reported online in an article that a Chinese woman was shopping for market groceries uh, in Luoyang in the central China, Hunan province, where she noticed some people selling eggs out of van. And the price of the eggs are actually cheaper than what they were selling at the market. Sounds like shady business? Sounds like shady business to me, because the eggs end up turning out to be fake anyways. But check it out, it gets better. So citing an anonymous source, the paper will go on to describe how the fake eggs were being made. First, the counterfeiters will prepare a mold that mix the amount of resin, starch, and pigments to make an egg white. So this egg white is completely produced using non-natural ingredients, and this is terrible for the human body. Next, they will add a fake egg yolk, a different mix of resin, various chemicals, and artificial coloring. 
And once the fake egg resembles the shape of a real egg, they will go to proceed to add more unnatural products, um, which was paraffin and wax, gypsum powder, and calcium carbonate to use to create the eggshell. So they can go through all this work to create an egg that resembles an egg. Now, who knows what these fake eggs are, are being shipped off to and if consumed, there's been symptoms such as dementia, liver and kidney damage, and who knows what else that hasn't been discovered yet. Now, the best way to identify if the eggs are real or you're eating a fake Chinese egg is there are a few steps. First, real eggs have a faint smell, which fake eggs would not have. So you ever crack open the egg and there's like a distinct smell in the egg that you can tell that's egg? Well, the fake eggs would not have that. Second, when you tap a fake egg against, let's say a shelf or against your countertop, it will sound a lot more hollower than the real egg. And once the fake egg is cracked open, the egg white and the yolk will actually mix a lot faster than normal. So right away when you see these three things, you know right away that you maybe that question mark should come up above your head saying that are these real eggs or are these are fake Chinese eggs? So to simply just avoid this entire issue is just to avoid buying eggs and staying clear of eggs that are made in China. Next on the list, Chinese garlic. So now here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that 80% of the garlic sold worldwide actually comes from China? I did not know this myself personally as I always eat garlic and I did not know where it comes from, but I did not know that the majority of the garlic in the USA is actually from China. Now, based on this list, we really know there's a lot of Chinese food products that are actually questionable and we are concerned about their safety. Well, Chinese garlic is really no different. So now, Farmers in China use a lot of different types of pesticides so it will keep the insects and everything grown off, but they use amounts that are unregulated. So these pesticides in large amounts could become dangerous. And they're also grown in untreated sewage water and sometimes even contaminated with lead because who knows the water source in China if it's, is any safer. It's not like we have here in the United States. Now, another thing about the garlic is that there's a bleaching process that takes place. And the bleaching process, the whole point of that is to cover up the natural dirt stains that come with being pulled from the soil. So now, bleaching products consist of a lot of different chemicals that are completely, could be a deadly toxin for the human body. Number nine on the list, rat meat being sold as lamb meat. So the South China Morning Post reports that the rat meat was being altered with chemicals such as gelatin, nitrous salt, and coloring to make it look and taste more like frozen rolled mutton. For those of you who do not know what mutton is, mutton are thinly sliced pieces of lamb meat that's widely used for hot pot. Now the best way to tell if it's real mutton or fake rat meat is to let the meat thaw once you pull out of the freezer. And once the meat is thawed, Try to separate the fat meat from the lean parts of the meat. And if it's a rat meat, it'll be a lot easier for you to separate it. And if it's actually real legitimate lamb mutton, it'll be a lot harder for you to separate the fat from the lean parts of the meat. Number 10 on the list, fake Chinese tofu. Now for all my vegetarians and vegans out there, you're not gonna be happy to hear this one. The South China Morning Post has reported that government officials in China had to close down at least two workshops in, located in the Wuhan and Hubei districts in China for selling counterfeit tofu. The ingredients they were using for this counterfeit tofu was dangerous chemicals known to cause cancer, also using coloring agents and very, very little bit of soy. Anybody knows that tofu, real tofu that is, is very, very healthy with a lot of nutrients and the ingredients come from soybean. The reason why they were making these fake tofu, as you can guess, was because the cheap starch and the chemicals they were using is a lot cheaper than using the natural product made from soybeans. So what it was is that they were taking this counterfeit tofu and they were packaging as legitimate tofu and distributing it out to markets to sell to the public. Now, for the best way for you to avoid to buy fake Chinese tofu is to actually, when you next time you're in the market, you're looking at the back of the tofu to make sure that these tofus are packaged in the USA. That will be your best bet is to buy USA made tofu and make sure you stay away from any tofu imported from China. Well, there you go. There's the top 10 most commonly consumed Chinese foods that are hazardous to your health. Now, the next time you go have Chinese food, I do not want you to be inspecting the food like you're some kind of inspector, but it's also very, very good for you to be able to be aware of what you're putting into your body. Thank you for watching. And if you like that video, please make sure you comment, like, 